Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and today we're going to talk about edge panels on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now if you also have yourself the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, this is going to work the exact same way. Now if you see right over here there is a little handle. Uh, I do want to mention that if you don't see yours on the bottom right hand side, try to look along the top or also the left hand side because you are actually able to change the position of this handle. Now if you don't see this handle at all, what you want to do is pull down the notifications panel, go over into the settings, but what I'm going to do here is I'm so used to using a S Pen. This is the one that I use in most of my videos. Uh, a lot of people ask questions of exactly what this is or where you can get it. This is the Stedler Digital Pen. So if this is something you guys are interested in, there will be a link below the video where you can pick this up. So now that we're inside of the settings, you're going to go over into the display. And then underneath display, you're going to scroll down to where it says the edge screen because this is dealing with the edge of the screen. So not only will you see the edge lighting, but here is where it says edge panels, or you can just go and start hit the search button and just search for edge panels. You'll find it instantly as well. Now inside of here, this is where you can choose which panels you would like to have on your edge panel. So now that you saw where you can turn this on, what I want to do is open up the edge panels. And this is probably where you're at. If you do have the handle. Now, once you go inside of here, this is where you can go into the settings of it pretty quickly if you already have the edge panels turned on. So right here, this little checkbox means that you are using it. Uh, you, so you have the apps edge, people's edge, task edge, smart, select, you got your clipboard edge. These right here are the ones that I use. Now the ones back here are ones that you can turn on. So your device management, the reminders, weather, you know, Samsung internet, sports finance. I do want to mention though, if you are looking through these and one of these I have, but you may not, one of them could be this device maintenance. And it could be because you might have a Verizon phone, which Verizon uses something different other than the device maintenance. Now, if you're looking through all of these different edge panels, you want to see if there is more you'd also be able to get, you can click on download and it's going to show you all the top ones you'd be able to get. You can also go over into the top free and you can see that there's like a calculator. You can check out what is now playing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones and there's actually a couple different fun ones you can do. Um, you know that you can do the clock and the timers. There's also a one that you'd be able to do with like flipping a coin and you just flip it and you say, you know, you think if it's heads or tails, there's like a matching game. So there's a whole bunch of different things you'd be able to do. So here's that one right here for the coin toss that I was just mentioning. So just go through all of these here. If there's any of these that you'd want to go for, just go inside of there and hit on download. Now, also another thing you could do is when you're looking at any of these edge panels, you can go into edit. And so if there's any of these that you would want to edit, this is the one, for example, apps edge, I can actually go through here and add them in here. And you can also add those things later on. So let's say that you open this up. Let's go over into the apps edge. You can see here that there is a plus. So again, I still want to go through all the different settings here, showing you all the different options uh, on the very top right hand side. This is where you can reorder them. So if you don't want the apps edge to be one of the first ones to pop up, then you can just easily switch it. So just by this right here, little arrows, you'd be able to move them left or right. And don't forget, if you're going inside of these settings, make sure you turn this on if it's not on already. Now let's go back up over to the very top for the more settings. You can uninstall this. Then here is your handle settings. So you can have this either on the left side or also the right side, depending if you're left or right handed. You can choose how large you want it. So you can see how my handle there on the right bottom right hand side there, it's getting larger and smaller. So mine's usually right around here. And then you can also do the transparency. So if you really can't see it, that's because your transparency is high or you can have it extremely low. So I just kind of have mine right around there. And then you have the option for the vibration if you're turning it on. Um, and then you also have your arrow. This is where you can put it towards the top or you can bring it down towards the bottom. More than likely yours will probably be here or it could be down here if you have a little bit shorter of a hand. So it just kind of depends on how long your thumb is, where is it naturally placed when you're holding the phone. So I'm going to place mine right there. So that is all the different settings, the way you can download more, move these around, turn them on, turn them off. And you can also edit any of these edge panels. Now let's actually go through everything that these edge panels are able to do. So for apps edge, what this is able to do, it's a fast way that you'd be able to open up a application. So instead of you looking through your phone, looking through folders, if you have one over here, that's set up extremely fast, you'd be able to open them. So if I want to open up Samsung notes, 
there we go. If I wanted to quickly, I can even open up two applications at the exact same time. So let's say I wanted to do my files and my files. This is a cool way that I'd be able to press and hold and drag and drop from let's say the internal storage to an SD card or vice versa. Now setting up a pair is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is click on this plus button. Now if you do not have this plus button, all you have to do is press and hold on one of the applications that's already there. And when you press and hold, just drag it up to the trash bin. So here we go, and we're gonna add in a create app pair. So I can go over here and add in just pretty much any of these games or applications if I wanted to, or I can create a app pair, which is what we just got done talking about. Now, this is where you get to choose what two applications do you use all the time. Maybe you're using um, either Allo for your text messaging along with a calculator. So maybe you do a lot of calculations and you send it to people. Maybe you can also set one up that that would be for your Google Maps and then maybe also the Play Music. Um, or you can also use Samsung Music if you have that downloaded. So then this way you can navigate somewhere and also listen to music in your car through Bluetooth. And then once you hit on Done, now you have this one set up right there. So now the cool thing about it is at the moment I click there, it's gonna open up my maps as well as go into music. Now anytime that you have a multi-window that is being used, make sure you pull on the notifications panel. And this right here is where it kind of stores it so then you can open it up quicker. But if you're done, just click the X and now you are not in the multi-window setup anymore. So we finished with the apps edge. Let's move over and for people edge, it's very point blank and simple. You basically touch any of those icons and it is gonna pull up up their contact settings, meaning you can either send them a text message or you can do a direct phone call. Over here, Tasks Edge. Task Edge is extremely cool. It's a fast way to do a task just by touching a button. So let's say that there is a particular image that I love showing off. Instead of me going into my gallery, going through all these different folders or scrolling back from three months ago, I open this up, click on an image, and there we go. Now I'd be able to show off a picture extremely fast. So it could be of someone that you love, it could be maybe your vehicle, um, and it could also maybe be your kids, it could be a vacation spot you went to. It's a fast way to show a picture you show all the time. Now it's very similar here. So if you always shoot a text message, you can touch this, it's gonna open it up as if you're about to shoot a text message, you just input who it's gonna go to. If you always take a selfie, you can actually set up a quick shortcut just to take a selfie. So it'll open up the camera, flip it to the front facing, and then now you're able to, to take a selfie. You can also do quick little things as in a one-handed mode. So if you wanna go into one-handed mode extremely fast, you would be able to. Um, or you can hit on this little plus button and then you're able to set it up any way you would like. So you can do uh, the Cortana mic if you have that downloaded and you can open up your device maintenance. If you're always setting up a timer all the time, Instead of going into your clock settings and then moving over to timer, you'd be able to choose timer, so you'd be able to set up the timer instantly. Now, as an example over here for when I was showing off a image right away, this is the option I chose. It's underneath gallery. I just chose view item. So now you can choose the item that you want to view right away. So let's move over here. This is smart select. Smart select is one of my favorite ones to do because I'm always doing this. So let's say that I open up on YouTube here and if there is something going on up here, maybe it could be a article, it could be a picture, it could be a graph, it really could be anything. When I open up my edge panel for smart select, when I click on rectangle, this is all you have to do just to share it with somebody. You hit on done and now that whole little area, you can either extract the text from it or you just hit on share, boom, you're able to share it through Facebook, Messenger, text messages, Twitter, anything and everything you'd be able to do through sharing it, or you can just save this as a image, which this will save you from having to take a screenshot, cropping it and doing all that other crazy steps. And all you have to do very fast is you open up your edge panel, click on rectangle, put it where you want it to go. And there you go. Now you're able to share it instantly. Now, same thing with that one. You just have the option for oval. This one's kind of fun. You'd be able to do it around a face uh, if you want to create a cool image of something. So if I wanted this to be as a circular image, I'd be able to cut it out that way. And again, everything's the same. I could do Bixby Vision, draw on it, share it, set it as something, um, or also save. And that 
for the set as. That means wallpaper or lock screen. The very next one underneath the smart select is going to be the GIF animation. And so this is where you can create a GIF. So let's say that I'm watching a little video up here on YouTube. If I wanted to create a GIF from this, I can either do it as high quality or standard. We'll keep it as high quality and I'm able to hit on record and you're able to do this for 15 seconds. So this could be something that's on YouTube. This could be a uh, in or a video that's in your gallery. Uh, this could also just be you opening up your camera and just by showing off the camera, you're able to just do a little GIF this way. And again, you can share it, save it and draw on it. And now the very last one for smart select will be pin to screen. So this one's going to come in handy if you always have to check something out and back reference it. So let's say I go inside of my tools. Let's say that I'm kind of looking over here um, at my calendar, trying to figure out, you know, exactly what's going to happen around, you know, maybe the end of December. Open up the edge panel, click on pin to screen, and I'm going to put this one probably for these days here. I'm going to pin it. So now what's going to happen is I always have this image to check it out. So now if I want to go into text messages, now let's say I'm going inside of here and I'm going to text random or just anybody else. What I'd be able to do is I'd be able to go down here and still be able to text and I'd be able to say, Hey, what's going on for the 23rd. And then as they text me back, I can always reference this thing. So every single time I go in and out of different screens, this right here is always going to be pinned to the screen. Another thing I like about it is that if I was to hit on this little down arrow, it means save. This right here, that means I'm just going to minimize it. And then this one just means that I'm going to go away. So it's really cool that you're able to pin something to a screen. Maybe it's an image. It could be a calculation. It could be an article. It could be really anything. You're able to pin it right over your other screen. Now, the next one we're going to look at is clipboard edge. Now, this one, I highly suggest that this is sitting there for you. Same thing as this last screen here for smart select. So here you can see all the different things that you either took a screenshot of or you copied or clipped or anything like that. You can also lock some of these. So if there's any of these in here that is super important to you, um, what you can do is let's say I'm going through these and this one is something that I use all the time. It is not locked. This one you can see here is because it has that little lock icon on the very bottom left side. So what you can do is you can press and hold and it says remove or lock. So I can either lock it or I can also unlock it. And then if I need to, I can go and remove it. So this image right here, I technically don't need. So I'm going to go to remove and then now it's gone. So here you can see what is locked, what is only text and then what is images. So again, that's going to be mostly your screenshots and everything else. So if there is a, you know, one of these things here that you wanted to share, Here's a couple different things you can do. Now, when you open up an application where you're able to share this, let's say maybe it's messages, it could be Messenger, it could be Google Allo, it doesn't matter what it is. Now that I have an application open, it's going to show this icon right here, which means that it's just going to easily paste over into this app. So I'm already in text messaging. I'm already talking to the person I'm trying to talk to, and I already know that I have something that's clipped that I want to share them. I just hit that one little baby button and there we go. Now they have my web address here for amazon.com slash shop slash Jimmy's promo to check and see everything that I use and also suggest with inside of YouTube and Amazon. The other thing you could do is let's say again, you're inside of text messages. And if I was to press and hold here, I'd be able to drag and drop it right over into my text field. That's the other way you'd be able to share anything that is clipped and saved. And for example, another edge panel is going to be quick tools. This is another one that I kind of suggest because it's pretty cool. It has a uh, compass on there so you can check out where you're going. If you're traveling around, if you're camping, if you're just trying to find just anything in general, you have your compass. And then you can also calibrate it if you think it's wrong. Over here is a ruler. You can do it in either inches or centimeters. So if you want to check out how long something is, as long as it's less than, you know, this <laughs> little ruler here, you know, about four and a half inches um, or 11 centimeters, as long as it's shorter than that, you'd be able to check it out. And you also have this option over here for the flashlight. So let's say that I pick this up and I hit on that little flashlight. You can see that there is a light right behind here. Uh, the cool thing you can do is you can either dim it down or you can bring it on up, which is pretty cool. Or if you need to, I'm going to hit on SOS and I'm able to send a SOS if there's somebody around. So if you're in um, some trouble, if you're in an issue of some sort and you don't know how to do SOS, this right here, just by one little button press, it's going to send it for you. And now we're right back circled right over to the original first one that we talked about, which is the apps edge. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six different apps edges here, or I should say app panels or edge panels. And the cool thing is that you can have more or less than me. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is just go through here, check out which edge panels you would like to have on the side. And so you can go anywhere from finance to sports to calendar, 
and a little bit more than what I have. But these are the ones that I use every single day. It's just a fast way of me opening this up, hitting over into maybe an application I need, transferring stuff over. But more than likely, usually I usually have my Smart Select instantly right over on the side so I can always do the rectangle smart select because I do this almost every single day. So I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit subscribe if you're brand new to this channel or if you've learned something new. You can also hit subscribe right over here. Make sure you guys share this video with your friends and family. And outside of that, I will see you guys later.